Within hours of the Moscow bombings, transit security was tightened in major American cities, including New York and Washington, Al-Qaeda's top targets. Security officials called the show of force precautionary, stressing there is no current threat against U.S. transit. But terrorists know trains, unlike airplanes, are not heavily guarded or protected against explosives. And bombers have repeatedly exploited that vulnerability. Madrid in 2004. London in 2005. And while there's not been a rail attack in America, Haji Bulazazi was in the final stages of plotting to bomb New York subways. He was grabbed by the FBI last fall. There's no perfect solution to securing metros or trains. And I think uh, terrorists are going to continue to poke at that vulnerability uh, when they get the chance. In the Midwest, it was a different domestic threat that had the FBI scrambling. Nine alleged members of a right-wing militia group have been charged after multiple raids in Michigan, Ohio, and Indiana. An anti-government group calling itself Hutari, meaning Christian warrior, is accused of plotting to kill police. Indictments charge David Brian Stone and eight followers with conspiracy and attempting to use weapons of mass destruction. Videos posted on Hutari's website show heavily armed camouflage fighters practicing with assault rifles. Prosecutors say militia members hope to kill a police officer and then ambush others at the officer's funeral. The indictment says according to the plan, the Hatare would then attack law enforcement vehicles with improvised explosive devices. That is an amazing uh, plan. Uh, when you think about a funeral filled with hundreds of police officers, all of them armed, being attacked by a band of militiamen, uh, you know, one can only uh, begin to imagine the kind of carnage that might have resulted. Now, the FBI had had the militia group under surveillance for quite a while, so there was no danger of an imminent attack. But officials are very worried about the dramatic increase in the number of militia groups across America. The number has tripled to 127 in the past year alone. Katie? And, Bob, getting back to rail security, as we heard in your piece, it's so difficult to make trains and subways safe. What can be done? It's very, very tough. This is one of the entrances of the Washington Metro. There are hundreds like it across America. It would be physically impossible to put metal detectors and explosive scanners at all of these entrances, or trains and people would simply stop. Security depends on the randomness of the police actions and also intelligence, and that's how we've caught people in the past. Katie? All right, Bob Orr in Washington. Bob, thank you.